If you're looking for some cabin, tiny house, tree house, and fort ideas and concepts, check out my book on Amazon.com, Humble Home, Simple Shacks. Also now available, we have a plan set for a transforming A-frame cabin, very affordable and simple to build. That is on RelaxShacks.com as well. It's about 90 square feet. And check out our friends over at BlueMoonRising.org in Deep Creek Lake, Maryland, an eco-tourism resort with lots of tiny houses. Hey, I'm Derek Diedrichson from RelaxShacks.com, hanging out at our 6th or 7th RelaxShacks.com tiny house and building workshop. As I pan the camera, let's see if we can do this. Maybe behind me you can see all the stuff going on. I can't see what's going on in the camera, so bear with, bear with me. Um, we're here building quite a few things. We've been working on four, if not five cabins, a lot of sub-projects. But um, one of the builders and speakers who came down is Will Yount from HummingbirdTinySpaces.com. Who is going to show us one of his brand new models called the Sawtooth, which will be featured upcoming in a book of mine out 2015, so they say. Actually, here he is. So they say. Man, myth, legend. Yeah, right. In his own mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you came out, man. Haven't seen you in a while. But Will has his brand new model here, the Sawtooth 96. You have a couple variations. Okay, here you are in frame. A couple variations of this cabin, right? Yes. Size-wise. Yeah, all, all the way up to like a Sawtooth 400. It's kind of a series. Oh, really? Okay. And kind of hung on. And it's almost like a, I mean, you came here and this was panelized. It's almost like a kit cabin in a way, right? It is. It's really a, an experiment and building as cheaply as possible with new materials. Like normally, I, I build much better than this. These are on, I build on 16 inch centers. Yeah. This is on 24. Uh, the T111 stuff is like the cheapest T111 you can get, which is a little over 16 bucks a sheet. Mm -hmm. I would normally use um, two by six at least on the floor system. This is two by four. And uh, I've never done panel systems, so I just wanted to experiment in that too, so. Well, I gotta so, say, I gotta say, sorry to cut you off, but I gotta say, uh, when you guys rolled in here, all just in a pile on the trailer. You put this thing together in like an hour. Yeah, we took it to this point, which it's unfinished, because we just didn't want to have to deal with completely disassembling it from a finished. Yeah, of course, stage. yeah. I mean, it's a three-day workshop. You don't want to, you know, need we, three days we to took take it, it apart. Basically, to this point, almost in a little over an hour. All right. Well, let's walk towards it all, all right. in one take. Why not? I don't enjoy editing, so we just we just roll with the punches here, my friend. I don't enjoy being filmed. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna get some nice, nice close-up shots. You make it feel awkward. This is Kevin, one of his partners in crime. Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about the design. You were talking about here, let's actually walk inside here. Well, it's eight by 12, 96 square feet. I call it the Sawtooth 96. It's got a four foot deck. My thing is kind of this style of roof versus gable. Um, well, it's, it's a deviation from a lot of the houses we're seeing in the on the scene, if you will, which I like. He had the little Clara Story window set up. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's got these upper windows. If you can get that in. Yeah, okay, I'll get it all in. And again. Now here's was, wait, like for sorry, I'm, I'm cutting you off again, but here's Kevin. What are you like? About six feet tall, six one. Yeah, six. Feet. Okay, so for a size reference for a 96 square foot place, no, but up here, yeah, you're talking quite a bit of height. Oh yeah, yeah. big time. I can touch an eight foot ceiling. Yeah. So okay. You're so talking like 10 and a half, 11 feet even. Right, so it's got it's gonna have a six foot slider. Again, the cheapest new things I can buy. So it's a, a six foot slider, it's 300 bucks. Yep. Brand new vinyl slider. Um, two windows up high, two windows in the back. That's four uh, casement, um, what do they call those things? Um, Hopper windows? Casement sliders like for um, yeah, yeah. for basements. For basements, exactly. Basement. But these have clear glass. They're like 60 bucks each. You're not going to get the opaque glass ones, Will? I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> I want it clear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that, I did a lot of research and that was the cheapest windows I could find. Okay. Were these 60 bucks sliders. Now just to beat people to the punch who are watching this video, I'm sure they're thinking, why are the windows so high in the back? You want to explain? Because there would be um, like a bed here. Yep, this is like a mini loft. So, something like that. So, plenty of room. Depending on, you could have a single bed, you could have a full bed, even a queen. You can put that on hinges and let it fold down if you want. Yeah. Or it's right. out of the way. It doesn't have to be permanent. That it's kind of like a, I guess, you know, some people call it a half loft in height. And down below, a space which, uh, you know, wouldn't be used for standing room or, or you know, standing room functions. You could slide in a couch, I suppose, right. or, or a desk, a little yes. writing area. I built a, a bunk bed like this. It didn't have the bunk on the bottom. Yeah, the yeah. Desk. Built it for my kid. Okay. Um, so it made a great desk underneath, or like say a, a futon, a bed, or whatever. Now, height-wise, um, inadvertently, you were saying after you built this, you're like, you know, 
crap, you have room for a second loft up here. Yeah, I didn't potentially. Really see it, so I got it, got it built. That if somebody wanted it, got a whole another loft up here. The sleeping room was really your your desire. Yep. And then the original design also was kind of a window here or there, one side or the other, or both. All right, man, this place is it's looking great. I can't wait to see it because I know you've been working on it. You'll probably bring it back to your pad, your ranch, the Yount compound. Yes. And uh, and uh, and actually you to finish it out. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, we're going to finish it. I, I brought paint for this workshop, but uh, time just got away from us, and we decided to just enjoy what everybody else was doing. And so yeah. I just kind of stopped. I wanted to see what everybody else was it's doing. It's been fun, especially since all the builds are so wildly different. We're going to have other videos up, but you can see the dist uh, they're taking it down. There's a yurt in the distance, treehouse. Another micro cabin, uh, Joe Everson from Tennessee, tinyhomes.com and tinyhappyhomes.com. He's got like eight tiny houses in the property and it's just been pretty wild. Uh, so again, Kevin and Will, and it's hummingbirdtinyspaces.com for more information. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Man. Thank Thanks you. for inviting me. Really. No, of course. Well, this has been awesome.